she reverenced her husband. And I would exhort both of you, Matt and Danielle, to remember the great responsibilities that you have toward each other, as well as toward God in love and submission. It's a very serious and magnificent teaching that we have here. These qualities are great. And the Lord Jesus Christ gave us an example of that, both in the submission and the love. The Bible says, "In greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that's exactly what the Lord Jesus Christ did when he died on the cross. He gave himself for all those who will ever repent of their sin and trust Christ as their Savior. Matt, follow the example of Christ. Love your wife as Christ loved the church. Consider Danielle your closest friend. And love her even to the sacrifice of your wants, your desires, and even your very life. Matt, would you repeat after me? I, Matt, take you, Danielle. I, Matt, take you, Danielle. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. I pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. To honor you. To honor you. To comfort and care for you. To comfort and care for you. To keep you in sickness as in health. To keep you in sickness. In poverty as in wealth, in poverty as in wealth, in days of blessing as in adversity, in days of blessing as in adversity, I solemnly covenant, I solemnly covenant, before God and these witnesses, before God and these witnesses, to be faithful to you, to be faithful to you, and that forsaking all others, that forsaking all others, will keep myself only unto you, will keep myself only unto you, so long as we both shall. Danielle, Christ gave us the perfect example of submission. The Apostle Paul said in Philippians 2, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Danielle, the Lord Jesus Christ, as creator and sustainer of the universe, humbled himself to become submissive for our sake. And just as you would obey the Lord, I charge you to submit to Matthew as your husband. Would you repeat after me? I, Danielle, I, Danielle. take you, Matt, take to be my lawfully wedded husband. From this day forward, by the grace of God, I pledge my love to you. Promise to cherish you, to obey you and reverence you, to comfort and care for you, to sustain you in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in days of blessing as in adversity. I solemnly covenant before God and these witnesses to be faithful to you. That forsaking all others will keep myself only unto you so long as we both shall live. What token of uh, marriage do you offer each other today? They have decided to exchange rings, and in the giving and receiving of these rings, you pledge yourselves one to the other discharge faithfully and fully those duties and obligations which belong to each other in view of the state that you are not entering. Just as the circle of the ring symbolizes the eternal nature of this sacred union you are now forming, so may the near indestructible nature of the precious metal out of which it is formed symbolize the everlasting quality of your devotion and love. These rings mark the beginning of a long journey together. Filled with wonder, pleasant surprises, laughter, tears, celebration, and joy. May these rings glow with the reflection of the warmth and the love which flow through the wearers today. May these rings be a remembrance of your love in the years to come. Let these rings remind you of this happy hour. And our prayer, this congregation's prayer, is that you will be happy men. Give this.
this ring to Danielle as a token of your love for her. Again, please place the ring on her finger, your left hand. That one right there. <laughs> Danielle, do you take this ring as a token of Matt's love for you to wear it as a token? Danielle, do you give this ring to Matt as a token of your love for him? Please place the ring on his finger. <laughs> Matt, do you take this ring as a token of Danielle's love for you to wear it as a token of your love for her? Today, Matt and Danielle have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord to demonstrate their desire for God to be a significant part of their marriage. The gold strand symbolizes that the Lord Jesus has been invited by Matt and Danielle to the position of authority in their relationship. The purple strand represents the groom illustrates the majesty of God as head over the husband. And as Matt submits himself to the Lord, the Lord in turn will hold the marriage together through him. The white strand represents the bride. It illustrates the purity of the bride of Christ. As each New Testament Baptist church is under the headship of Jesus Christ, they are sanctified and cleansed through the power of the word of God. As Danielle submits to her husband, she submits to the Lord himself, and their marriage is blessed. In braiding these strands together, Matt and Danielle are demonstrating that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. They have chosen to allow God to be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it, as they serve Him in and through New Testament Baptist Church. Solomon said in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, two are better than one, and a threefold cord is not quickly put. 